Hey guys, welcome to my factor disassembly video. I'm going to show you how I disassemble and do maintenance on the factor. Just a short little video here, casual little video. I'm doing a voiceover because there is a person snoring in the other room. I won't mention any names. <coughs> my wife. <coughs> um, but yeah, so what I do here, what I'm doing here in the video is I'm laying the factor down on a pad from the case because that lock peg, the factor's lock peg, sticks out on the front side. So you lay it down on something soft, you know, instead of hard, so that that peg isn't sticking down on a hard service, you know, and making things uneven as you're trying to work on the knife. So yeah, just use that pad from the case. And then I'm obviously taking off the, the three screws along the spine. You don't have to take off that inside pocket clip screw, so I've already loosened those up. Um, then I'm using a quarter to undo the pivot screw here and having a little trouble for whatever reason. Don't give me a hard time. I just woke up <laughs> in this uh, as I'm doing this video. I, I had just woken up, so still half asleep here. But now I'm getting serious. I got the knife uh, picked up and getting that pivot screw off there. But a quarter actually does work very well, and you know it also enables you to do pivot adjustments on the fly if you're out and about and you have a quarter in your pocket and your knife in your pocket. You can adjust it, so that's kind of handy. All right, I've got everything off. That back pocket clip screw is removed it's just still sitting in there wiggle the scale off and uh, I had a little one of the little washers that sucked over to the magnet so that happens you want to just unstick that washer like I did set it aside and uh, things are kind of cramped in my video here I'm trying to get everything on video so a little cramped I swing out the flip lever take it off so that that's out of the way taking the blade off and uh, <laughs> the little air hockey puck shaped lock was sticking to the blade so I took that off set that aside there's your thrust bearing on that side Oop, what happened to my focus there we go and everything is now disassembled and I'm pausing for no apparent reason in the video don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, I'm getting my Q-tip, and then um, wiping the film off. There's kind of a the the hockey puck or air hockey puck shaped lock. Kind of it slides along the carbon fiber, and it develops a little thin little film on the carbon fiber over time. So I'm just wiping that film off, and that actually sm smoothens up your lock just a little bit. You can do that every now and then if you want. So I've got that film wiped off. You can use a paper towel too. I just was using what was handy. I had a Q-tip handy. And then to apply the oil, I use a Q-tip and, you know, as I'm doing here, and apply oil to the tip of the, the Q-tip and then just to one side of the thrust bearing, just as I'm doing here. This is, uh, this prevents oil from getting on any of the lock surfaces only on the bearing is where you want oil on this knife because you get oil on the lock surfaces with the factor and it causes lock stick so you want all the locks or all of the lock surfaces dry and free from oil if you do get oil take a q-tip or paper towel and acetone and then wipe down all the lock surfaces so that they're dry again you know and if you're you know there i go with the uh Oiling up the other side of the bearing, just like so. That's really all the uh, maintenance you have to do as far as lubing up the knife goes every now and then. And then I'm taking the lock, that air hockey puck shaped lock, and I'm putting that in the slot upside down, the lock slot. And that's again where that um, foam pad, or you could use a towel or something underneath the knife um, as well. That's where that foam pad comes in handy because the lock peg sticks out the opposite side, like I mentioned. And then I'm putting the uh, flip lever on, and I have it swung out so that it's out of the way and not, you know, causing issues with magnetically. And then I'm seating the uh, the washer, the thrust washer, over the thrust bearing, just kind of letting it sit there so that it's centered on the uh, on the pivot. And then the trick here is to actually use the scale to capture that that uh, washer and slide across everything so I'm using the edge of the scale right here you see that 
to uh, secure the washer and then I'm sliding across the washer across the pivot instead of coming down on the knife with the scale because that will cause your parts to sort of fly all over the place magnetically and then I like to um, so that's uh, remember that trick that's a key trick to uh, reassembling the knife and then I like to put this handle screw in first you know you can just snug it down and tighten things up later but for now I'm just um, oops, wrong screw there you put the long screw in the uh, pocket clip holder the longer of the two screws there's two screw lengths so the longer two go in the pocket clip and the shorter ones go in these two holes here pretty simple stuff T6 Torx once again if I didn't mention that and then you want to close the blade while you're tightening up the pivot you don't want it in the locked position because that'll cause you know then your blade is tightened up and, and the pivot will be in a tighter position you want it um, the blade closed as you tighten up the pivot screw here with your handy dandy 25 cent piece tool I think it was Nick Shabazz that said this uh, this tool here costs exactly 25 cents uh, and then I you just want to uh, as far as tightening the pivot you want it just tight enough uh, you know past just past the point to where there's no horizontal blade play so that's what I'm checking here so a little bit still so I think I tighten it one more time here just a titch it's pretty sensitive to the amount you have to turn it you're just turning it a hair so all the play is gone blade is nice and smooth falls nice and smoothly and then you are good to go well, I didn't show it in this video, but you can come back and you can tighten up those three screws. Just snug them down. Don't crank on them too much and, you know, strip them out or anything, but just kind of torque them down. Make sure everything's tight. And you can put Loctite on them if you want. I don't use Loctite. But that is all there is to it, and hope this video was helpful. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.